up, buddy nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Vigilante Boku no Hero Academia Legals chapter 104 and oof. Oh man, Nameless number six is doing some really, really crazy shit. He fucking melted. He goddamn melted to get out of them handcuffs. And shit is just getting wilder and wilder up in here with Nameless Number Six, and unleashed, he unleashed even more um, anonymous forces. And Koichi just got the fuck out of there like he should. Anyway, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us today. And there goes Koichi. The best I can do is sneak, um, is sneak attacks and diversion tactics. Um, a head-to-head -head fight with a nasty villain? Not in my wheelhouse. That's why flying off, uh, flying off to get all might is the right choice. Yep, we got we got to get all might right now. Because this is not good. At top speed with all I've got. Without a second to lose. And yet... And this chapter is titled The Bad One. What now? The bomber villains, they've stopped in their tracks? Yikes. No! Koichi ain't, ew, Koichi ain't going. Nah. Koichi's like, fuck this. I know I should be going to get all my, but fuck it. I gotta take care of shit on my own. Uh, hi there. Back so soon, Koichi. Why'd you come back? You really want to fight me that bad? Um, well, I don't know about fight, but we met the other day, right? That's your question? I just mean, you look different now. You're face it's huh what about it oh god his face is oh god whoa that face that face that face seriously fenton court why well i would have liked to seen that scar shining a little bit glowing a little bit but this panel i might give you a pass on it but god this face it's it's creepy as shit ah uh, did i forget to put on my face for real Running around like, running around like some no face. My face. Better? Ah! <laughs> God, it's so cool. Dude, like seeing the boils. Like pop all over his face. That was some creepy ass shit. Yes. I think all old, um, Rock Row, uh, Nomura is the best face I come with yet. One of my faves to wear. But I got a problem, you see. This face is modeled off your- Whoa, what? This face is modeled off yours, Koichi, so it's like everyone's seeing double. Whoa! I didn't notice that! How did I not notice that? Oh my god! That's nuts! How the fuck did I not notice that? Which is why... Which is why you need to disappear! Ooh! Dude, this panel... He mad! He mad! Alright, but Court, I gotta be real with you here. Because I've seen a lot of rage in manga this past week. So I gotta be real with you here. I want more! This this, this is not rage! This or this is not enough rage. The snarl is great though. I like the snarl, but oh I just a little bit more line work, man. It would have just been just taking it to the next level. I would have something that would have just made this even better is as dude as um nameless number six raging is that scar to glow with his rage. Mm, that would have been gorgeous. That's okay. Koichi's like, what the fuck, bro? Oh come oh, come to think of it, last time I wore this face, things were going great between me and Pop. 
with you out of the picture, the rock and pop duo could make a comeback, and maybe I wouldn't have to bump her off. This panel is so creepy. It's so big to Rose a scumbag. Well, nameless number six slash Rokuro is a scumbag. Love it. Pop! Any thoughts, Master? Um, she knows too much. Such a liability uh, should be eliminated. Yes, please go with that option. I'll disappear somewhere and you'll never hear from me again. Just please don't hurt her. What the hell? Also, why isn't his scar glowing? But I lo Dude, Betancourt, I'll give you this. I love the backgrounds. The backgrounds here, reflecting, or not reflecting, I'm sorry. Oh, um, emulating, there we go. Emulating his emotion. Oh, love. Because you have this gray one, the, for, the, the gray one here, and you have the black shadowing on the face. But that gray one, he's like, what? And then he gets pissed and you get that black and gray going, yes! What the hell? You don't exactly have a say in this, Koichi, because when I said disappear, I wasn't talking about you taking a trip somewhere. I'm telling you to die already! Woo! Look at them bubbles popping off the, off the, off the shoes. Woo! What? Using sliding glide for the countdown position? Yes! He swept my pivot leg! Yeah! Dude! That was some sneaky shit. That was sneaky! Here come the projectiles. I'll just accelerate and counter by... Wait, no. I'm in the air! I can't maneuver in this state! Yeah! Koichi! You sneaky bitch! We're up against that scumbag speedster. In a fair fight, you don't stand a chance. In the worst case, there's one trick that could work. For whatever reason, that one's a real talker. Just loves to run his mouth. <laughs> yes! Um, oh, maybe it's his pride doing the talking. Or maybe he's trying to get some respect with all those speeches. As long as he's listening to his own blathering, he won't accelerate. That's when you catch him off guard. <gasps> Fire off uh, a good one into that ugly mug of his and knock him out cold. Yes! Villains, this is why you don't monologue. If This is why you, you motherfuckers don't monologue. <laughs> and if you monologue, this shit happens. Love it. Love it. Fire off a good one into that ugly mug of his and knock him out cold. Let's go. Oh. <gasps> He's gone? What? What? What was with that with Pop? What the shit? Weak stuff there! You gotta commit! Whoa! What the fuck? Dude, that movement in this final panel. Or this final page. <gasps> that movement! Ugh. That court, that... Great. Oh my god. This movement was great. So, this chapter overall. This chapter overall was good. I love the strategy that we have here. I do. Oh, I can't wait to see what happened with Koichi, but what the fuck was going on with Pop up in there? Why didn't Pop look at... Oh, Pop, but Pop was worried. It did, I know, I understand. Pop, because uh, Koichi was going to kill him. But Koichi wasn't going to kill him, though. No. You, you would not kill Nameless Number Six like that. No way in hell. Because because Nameless Number Six is basically immortal. He is. He been, it, like, dude, the motherfucker survived Endeavor's fire! Koichi, are you dumb? Are you dumb? He could, if he could survive Endeavor's fire, he could survive your goddamn attack, you dumbass. He should have just went for it. He's, he's not gonna die if you're worried about it that much. Jeez. But there might be something 
else to... Oh! There might be something else as well go, going on up in here. It might be because if he does this to, um, to Nameless Number 6, the bomber villains go the fuck off. And if they go off, Pop is gone. Oh, that's probably the case. I wonder if that's what it is. Is it, he thought about Pop where it's like, oh shit, if he, um, if I do this, and I don't think at the time when they were discussing strategy, yeah, at the time when they were discussing strategy, they didn't know about the bomber villain. So this is like a new factor. Ooh. I can't be mad at Koichi for this. I can't be mad with that Koichi didn't go get All Might either. But this strategy was good. But man. I hope what they're doing on the ground is get is getting everyone out of that hospital. Once, once they get everyone out of the hospital, including Pop, then go for it. I think that's what, I think that's what's going to have to be done. Hopefully someone else is getting all mined up in this bitch. But I like that Koichi, I like that Koichi handling his business. I do. I like that Koichi wants to be the one to handle his own business. I'm really curious what you guys think in regards to that. That Koichi just didn't go run straight to All Might. That he is handling his own business. And something else I got I, I got to mention too is um, with what's going on in the main manga is we're seeing right now we're currently seeing Deku following the path of Sendal in a way. In a weird way. It's like in the opposite direction. But, yeah, we're seeing it. We're seeing it. We're slowly seeing him go the path of Stendhal. And it's to the point where even Stain said in Chapter 317 that he is no longer a hero. Deku is no longer a hero. It's going to be interesting. And in regards to that, I'm hoping that we're going to see Stain get involved over there. That would be very goddamn interesting. But reason why I bring that up is because it means, and I, I got a feeling we're getting some vigilante shit. We're getting some vigilante influence up in there, which is, which is good. I'm glad that we're, that that's going on. But the other thing is, is that something I'm noticing, um, there's, yeah, there's more commonalities going on with Koichi and Deku. Yeah, 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 there is. Where Koichi or Deku and Koichi feel like they they this is their fault. Well, technically it is their fault, in both and especially um, Deku's case, Koichi's case. Yeah, yeah, Koichi. Yeah, yeah, kind of. It, it's a yes and no situation, but yeah. But the difference is is that between Koichi and Deku is that Koichi isn't going into solitude to t with this with this shit. Nah. He is utilizing his resources. So, or as Deku, it is not. It's just really interesting how there's some, there's some similarities and there's some differences going on where you have you have like the opposite going on in Boku no Hero Academia. I, I really, for, for Deku, it's just fascinating but anyway getting off track i'm really curious what you guys um think of this chapter uh benton court this art is is getting better and better i oh god i really i'm still holding out that we're gonna see knuckle duster i'm really holding out on this because we know someone took them knuckles and that had to be Knuckle Duster that took them knuckle that broke into Koichi's house and took them knuckles. So he got to show up at some point. He does. And if he shows up now, oh man, he, he got to show up. I wonder if this is this is actually like the perfect time for him to show up. I wonder if that's going to be the case. Do you guys think that Knuckle Duster going to show up um soon? I I hope he shows up in like the next couple of chapters. That would be perfect timing. It would. You gotta want, like, the reason why I think Knuckle Duster hasn't shown up yet 
he wants Koichi. He doesn't want. He wants Koichi to handle his business. He wants to see where Koichi at. Um, as well, I he wants to see where he needs to step in. He waiting. He waiting. He he wants Koichi to have his his turn because he don't want to bail him out yet. Uh, the other thing is that we got to take into consideration is um, the real mastermind of this shit. We still need to wait and see what what's going to go down with that. And I'm really excited for it. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more vigilante content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.